Hello everybody, and welcome to our game development episode of things, because we're super professional and <clears throat> I'm great at intros. Ranger, yep. take it away! Take it away, me. We're gonna make, we're gonna try to make like a NES style game, make it open source, document every, you know, Devin's doing the, the eyebrows, document, <laughs> you know, document every, you know, twist and turn about it. I'm gonna There's do gonna all. There's gonna be a lot of twists. So not many twists. so many turns. We're not even making a game. <laughs> this is a soap we're, opera. We're gonna derp around on the computer and hope that things come together eventually. Yeah. So, um, so to start off with, we kind of we got some resources open. I mean, we have Dropbox ready to go. I've got some references here so that I can code while Ranger's talking with me about ideas and I pretend that I'm listening while I'm actually coding. Yes, yes, of course. That's how I usually operate. And um, I set up a CMake file so that it should be pretty easy to do the whole building process that's based off of my... Uh, so what language are we using, Devin, over there? CPP. 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 Um, We're going to use SDL to do this because they've got a little rendering API that does um, hardware stuff. And although I like OpenGL, it's not really feasible for us to make a little game in like one night. With yeah, it. yeah. <clears throat> so we're gonna use SDL. We don't want to tinker that much, and we want to sleep tonight. Yeah. I would love to sleep tonight. I've got to work eight hours tomorrow. <whistles> well, well. Um. So we're gonna try to make it like eight bit ish, you know, you know, kind of like NES style. Ranger is going to do most of the assets because I can't art, and uh, I'm going to work on code. So Devin's going to, uh, we're both going to talk, but this first episode is going to be kind of setting up, defining what we want to do, um, choosing kind of, you know, the art style and the theme and what we want the game to do. Basically, yeah. We yeah. kind of figured we'd do kind of like a Flappy Bird thing. Yeah, that was kind of our first thought. and. It, then Ranger we had a couple of ideas for like zombie punching games. Oh yeah, that's for later though. Yeah. Not yeah. for tonight. That's probably for a three. <clears throat> we could get a, we could probably get Flappy Bird working. Then, Although I'm not sure if I'll be able to without looking at resources a billion times. Uh, what are you so gonna forgive do? my uh, forgive my googling. But that, you know that's kind of what you do when you're making a game. You got all these people doing tutorials and they're just like, I know everything. That's that's a lie. I totally don't have a second <laughs> computer open to write. Right beyond right across, the right across the <clears throat> table from me. Um, but see. then there's things like, okay, well, we want to make it eight bit. How, like, what, what do you want the graphics to really look like? Do you want it to look like one of those LED games or whatever you were saying, LCD games? Yeah, the um, the old style, like the soccer games <clears throat> that you got when you were a kid because your parents couldn't afford it much else. Sad to say. And then we were thinking about well. That might be a little rough if we want to actually make like velocity and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like the programming might be a little weird on that. And then if that's that'd be a cool animation pro like project though. So um, we might give that a shot eventually. But Tonight you know, I'm thinking we're gonna just come up with ideas for stuff. And if if you do that, then the game might be a little too easy. Yeah. If it goes up, you know, two dots every, you know. Um, yeah. So I guess I'm gonna. While he's programming, I'm going to be Googling NES. NES style games. Um, I'm just going to put this little bool variable in here. This is going to be our main loop tester. Whoops. I'm going to put it so, above. you know, we were thinking something, you know, like kind of Mario-ish, but maybe less, or was that 3D World Runner or something like that? Something like that, yeah. Um, hey, I mean, we... I have a 3D game engine that we could be using, but it's like, <clears throat> I'd have to fiddle with it to make it seem 2D, and it just seemed backwards instead of just making sprites. And, and the hardware more. was so um, limited that they would have to reuse sprites a lot. Yeah. So that makes it easy for me, because I make one floor, you know, one floor block, you know, like right here. Um, I make one floor block, and we just reuse that, and that's the floor everywhere. Mm -hmm. Or... Uh, make one, you know, walking block, or make one tube. Um, so it's, you know, it's not, it's a lot of kind of thinking before you get, start programming. 
So, you know, I'm a lot just of, doing framework stuff right now, so it's not anything too crazy. So a lot of people might want to... When um, I say programming, I'm speaking loosely, by the way. Hold on loosely, Devin. <laughs> um, but Devin over there, is, we're gonna, he's going to upload the project to Git. I'm going to do some Git. If we ever think of a name, so if... We won't. So no. if you guys have suggestions, yeah. come up with them, because I cannot name things at oh. all. Mm -hmm. um, unable to initial. Oh yeah, that's right. SDO has like their own SDO get error thing. I can use that. The error catcher. Yeah. Like a dream catcher. Error. But with errors. <laughs> Percent S. Do I'm you using... think? We, do you think we could make? We could sell those. What? Have like an error catcher. Like a dream catcher for geeky people. Error catcher. Like a. Error. It's just like a big. It's just a big error sign on a net, and we just like wave it around like we. I, I can <laughs> sleep at night now, <laughs> knowing that all my errors will be caught. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Let's see. Another yeah. thing is I wanted to use Inkscape to make these vector images, but with our limited time, that might be a little weird to incorporate that. We'll see. I might <sighs> size it. I might be able to do it with um, SDL image. I haven't really researched too much into that, but with, this was meant to be a. It was meant to be a. Idea episode. Couldn't think of why I <coughs> couldn't come up with that sooner. Yeah. STDlib. Maybe it's like because I'm trying to program like and talk guy. at the same time. Nah, man. <laughs> Doesn't affect. Not at all. <clears throat> and I'm. <sighs> Wait. So what's our main character? What's what kind of? Are we doing like a? You know, underwater thing, or are we doing an overwater thing? Overwater thing. Like a. Like if we're doing Flappy Bird, remake. <clears throat> we just have straight up pits, like we had the last. Like, the original Flappy Bird game had like pits, right? Or was it? Over water. I never installed it. I never played Flappy Bird that long. <laughs> I know the idea though. Yeah, you flap and tick people off. <laughs> Keep them playing by making them angry. That is that is Flappy Bird. Um, we could go like totally, just. <laughs> <laughs> we could just go full douche mode and just make it impossible. For well, people. the game probably will be really hard <laughs> after a while, but I mean like. For the characters, we could just do totally average nest things. <laughs> like, it would, would like, not stand out anywhere. Well, I'm really good at, um, like, shooter games, like, uh, top down shooters. Pew, pew, pew. Those were the first games I ever made. I, uh. Why well, are we gonna get that in a Flappy Bird? Ooh, create window and renderer. What is different from just creating a window and then a. Huh? Sorry, I'm con I'm just. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am. Where am I? Help! <laughs> I love this lawnmower game. Lawnmower game? Yeah, it's called Lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to like continually like get gas for your lawnmower. Make sure that you have lots of gas, kids. Yeah. Well, I mean, you you. It's got a tank of about like a teaspoonful. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst gas tank. Ever created. You feel you you cut your lawn and you you get like five cubic, you know, <laughs> units, or f and then it's like, hey ho, what what you gonna do with that much gas? Nothing. Nothing. You Cause gotta. It's, Cause it's like a teaspoon of gas. Well, I think it's like that guy that's like, we're trying to be fuel efficient, Johnny. There's no more television. Took away. we have rocks to play with now, <laughs> and you get one teaspoon of fuel for the lawn. That's called uh, fuel efficiency <clears throat> for for noobs. For, just, for noobs. Just power your gas tank with teaspoons of gas. Eventually, you'll learn. Don't use your gas super fast. That almost rhymed. And that almost weird. did. So if if it is PNG, I can technically well not technically I can use. I don't need to. Um, you don't need to do anything like super. No. Well, well, I can I can leave transparency. Oh okay. 
So for the character, I don't need to like put black or green behind it. Okay. Let's see. I can't think of a character model just yet, so I'm going to make a grass block. Might as well. Everyone needs grass, and grass is soup. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> Everyone needs, needs grass. a little grass. And uh, basically, yeah. <laughs> we're not about that thug life. SDO create window and and now I'm probably gonna teach Ranger some SDL stuff eventually, but we're not gonna bore you with uh, tutorials. And those of you that know, you know SDL or you know know of SDL, you can probably follow along with him a lot. I'll leave his you know his video up more than mine. Although Ranger's content will probably be just as good because I know a lot of people like to watch art. I'm just scrolling on you on the Google. I'm, I'm literally watching YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching. I don't know what you're doing, buddy. <laughs> oh, I always forget you have to destroy things. Mm. So why? Anyway, you were asking something. I think. I was just asking myself existential questions, like. Why are we here? What, what is the purpose of us? What is the purpose of life? SDO window resizable. I'm just creating a window right now. It's called a winder. winder. It's, it's pronounced winder. Winder. Thank you. <laughs> I'm creating an address of a pointer variable right now. Wonderful. It seems weird, but that's that's how SDL does it. So, whatever. It's like, kind of like Lua. How you can make any variable to anything at all, because Lua what? doesn't care oh, at all. Like, uh, uh, what's that called? It doesn't matter what type it is. It's a uh, it boost any maybe. There's a name for it in the language. Template. Loosely typed, and strongly mm. typed. Mm-hmm. Is that in Lua? Nope. I never played with Lua for very long. I don't. I actually don't know. I did love 2D for a while and. No creation. Creation. Failed. Always error check. Always. Well, when you're doing like your basic setup stuff, if you don't even have a window going, you're gonna be flipping out over little stuff that doesn't need to be flipped out over. So. I don't error check later on because I think it kind of just takes a lot of time that I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that a lot of my code does exactly what I tell it to do <laughs> it's not gonna <laughs> deviate pink, and pink, if pinky I swearing. feel like I d yeah it's my I'm pinking, pinky swearing that my code will probably work the way I intend it to if it Hopefully. doesn't well, it'll crash and I'll look back at it. If it doesn't, why did you trust me? <laughs> <laughs> why did you trust me? Let's see. Okay, so I've got a window and I've got a render 640 by 480. Okay, so... What is that? Couldn't create a window and render... Eight bit steel, and then it was a soccer game. There's Shovel Knight. Mm hmm. I don't know. <laughs> okay. SDL whole event. See, I'm kind of loosely looking at like the example source code because it's easier to do that than to try to memorize all of the API's terms. Because in the real world, people have Google, so. You know, it's called Google Foo. Yeah. All you Google man haters. Whatever. It I'm, s I'm giving some great commentary, dude. Oh, it's just wonderful. Everyone's gonna love it. Here's a picture of the uh, Last Supper with all the Mario characters, uh, Nintendo characters, it's and a Sega character. It's just a dog. <laughs> <laughs> they, got, they got Pit. They don't have Dark Pit, they just have Pit. Rangers. Ranger likes pugs. I'd show you my desktop, but... I said pit. I might have some... Pit. I said pugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. SDL underscore event. 
I don't remember if that needs to be a pointer. It doesn't. Event. I'm just going to call it E because it's, it's an event. What else is E going to be used for? Hmm. What words in computer science start with E? Esoteric programming languages. Like brain. 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 SDL underscore pull event. E. And we're just going to do an event loop real quick. While. And I like switch cases, but they get to be a bit obnoxious. I, didn't, I never liked switch cases. Well, sometimes, okay, we covered this a little bit during our podcast or whatever, but switch events, they're good, but there's some like little minor problems with them. Mm -hmm. Like if you create a variable mm -hmm. inside of a switch case, yeah. if you try to recreate it in another case, it's like, but that's the same context, bro. You can't do that. And I've come up across this like quite a few times thinking, oh, why is my code not working? Well... I learned that it was not working because I was a fool and tried to create a variable in the I same a, context. I was a fool. I was an extra fool and I forgot my bar. <clears throat> uh, well. 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 <laughs> Devin made a programming joke. He's super good. Let's see. Where's my window events? Common events. See, SDL2 is kind of new, and they're coming up with new uh, new syntax all the time. So I'm just looking at... Oh. I'm looking at their API pages right now. And <clears throat> there's common... Oh, well, I went backwards because hotkeys. Window event. So you've got your window events here. This is for, like, when the window resizes and stuff. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I got to say about that. There isn't really much else to say, to be honest. I mean, you can look at when it's minimized, maximized, but you can cover that with the uh, focus gained and focus lost, too, to some extent. Switch E dot type. And I know I just complained about switch cases, but it's an event loop. I think we'll be okay. Switch E dot type equals SDL underscore window event. So what are you? What are you? Uh, what are the switch statements for? These switch statements are. Oh, is that like the D? Uh, the um. Air checking. The switch statements are for um, SDL has its own built-in kind of window management event loop thing that handles the keyboard, the window events, mouse input. You know, basically everything that's checked every loop, it checks to see if something pops up. So, like, have you, you've never used Game Maker, right? I have, basically, but I haven't gotten deep into it because I'm. Well, Game Maker's event loop looks like the little drag and drop boxes, so, like, if keyboard pressed, you do this. But it checks to see if the keyboard is pressed. It's a little bit, it seems a little more low level to me, but it's. Oh, I see. They did an if statement for that.
this will break the game loop, meaning that when I compile this, well, I was just like making like I was doing the wrong thing. What? Let's just go with that. I was like I was setting this up for like an uh, side scroller <laughs> game. <clears throat> Oh, don't worry about these libgl errors. That's because I'm using VirtualBox Linux because I did, was too much of a a, a bastard to install <laughs> Linux. I was gonna, th I was thinking of a few different words. None were coming to mind that included no references to not, not being, being a bastard. bastard. Not being a bastard. <laughs> so okay, so my close button works, but need. Just don't worry about the libgl errors. It's because VirtualBox and it still works. It's so because it's like, I am a bastard. Yeah. It's because I suck. Oh, do I die? die. If e dot <laughs> 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 equals equals. Okay, so I've got the close button working. Next up, I think I'm gonna hit the escape key. Close because that'll be a good segue into. Smart idea, bruh. Have the escape key close the game. Well, yeah. hey, shut up. Shut up, baby. No. Shut up. Don't make me cry. Let's see. too much of that mint milk. <laughs> Super good though. Now you're gonna have to forgive us if we stop talking for long periods of time because this is also a part of game development. If you don't it's like being it... being totally it's silent at all times. Yeah, it, it's, it kinda gets that way. Okay. I have the pipe done. The pipe? The pipe. The pipe. The bears. I need the. I'll explain what I'm doing here in a sec. Or I explain in a sec. In one second, I swear. Exactly, a second. And so what I thought. I like you know like the Kirby style. You know the the new Kirby ones. That's all like. You know, like car. You know, like uh, construction papery. Mm -hmm. Those Kirby games, like yeah. the intro, to the, the intro, the beginning South Parks. Yeah. It's, it's gonna look a little bit like that. Okay. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to put blurs here to make this look like it's another angle. I didn't think I was gonna need that, but I think that'd look cool, even though they're already really blurred. But that'll make it look like. I'll add a new layer. This makes it look farther behind if you blur that out. Well, I was blurring the wrong thing right there. Oh, did I mention that you can? Um, yeah. You can have multiple windows. Uh, you you were talking about the window manager, so I assumed. So do you, would you recommend SDL for a project like this? Yeah, if you're doing so, if you're throwing something together real quick and you know a lot of C++, I definitely recommend it. A lot of people stray from it because it's seemingly more difficult. It's not like horrifyingly difficult. I mean, it can be a little bit irksome sometimes. Pain, pain in the nads. Yeah, it can be. I'm not gonna lie. Nobody mind my tummy rumbling. The worst thing is like when you're in class, it's like and then you're, it's like... <laughs> and you're like... That's funny. I, I haven't eaten today, I'm sorry. 
see so. Uh, that looks better on the no background than white. Um, so this is the 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 end pipe. So actually. Oh, we are doing the Flappy Birds thing, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is named Top Pipe. And I'm going to save. And export this as um, It's been about 26 minutes. I think we should call this first episode done. Um, we won't we won't start up again until the air checking and stuff is ready. Um, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna sign up for now. And when we get back, we're gonna actually start the beginning programming of the game. I'm totally not doing that right now. Nope. <laughs> um, no, we'll we'll get more of a more standard thing in line because there's going to be a lot of what the hell? There's going to be a lot of that actually. And I'll probably chop this up because we had a lot of um, breaks in there. So if you're following Devin's programming, don't don't be alarmed. We'll we'll have the source code up somewhere. Yeah. Okie dokie. And even if you don't see all of it right away, eventually you will. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make some helpful functions that make it so that hopefully make it so that SDL is a little bit more accessible for people. That's the idea anyway. Okay. Well, that was fun. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Asap.